Hi there. I want you to know that it's not your fault. It's not your fault why your body's doing what it's doing. And I'm going to show you why your body's doing what it's doing and how you can actually change your state and change that mode so that your body can actually start acting in a different way. Hi, I'm Fiona Robertson. I'm here on Women Winning With Weight. And I'm here to show you some very simple tricks and techniques to help you get out of the mode and the state that your body's in, which makes it go into the primitive mode, the automatic fight and flight mode, and how that is having a massive effect on your body. It's not your fault. It really isn't your fault. And you can change that all in a heartbeat once you learn these particular techniques. Your body is an infinite mass, a very intricate mass, a complex mass of interacting systems and you're never going to get to the bottom of them all but what you can do is you can change your state you can change your state so that overall you're in the best state possible for you not to be triggered to, for your body to go into that primitive there's danger out there protective fight and flight mode which basically we've talked about before the main reason that your body does that is a level of stress what I help you find out is where that stress is coming from, what's triggering that stress. And when you get into that stress, I'm going to get you to be able to understand what you need to do, what's the next step for you. That's basically my main calling is to help you get out of the stress mode. And I've written many, many, many articles about stress, um, but it's one of the three modes that actually has your body gaining and hoarding weight and has your fat cells craving more, more food from you, but has your digestion, I should say, craving more sugary foods and fatty foods, but actually has your fat cells um, storing and creating more fat cells. You can never actually get rid of the fat cells that you've got, but what you can do is you can reduce the fat that's in those cells. So there's several different things that we can do. Um, Fear and stress can come from several different avenues and whether you're aware of it or not, this is what I talk about. So first of all, first things first, my piece of food program is going to show you at what level you're at on your stress scale. Are you, I am so chilled out, I'm safe, I'm in my supporters safe place, nothing affects me, I don't have an opinion on that. Everything's easy. Everything's working out really well for me. That kind of relaxed place. Or are you in such a stressful place that you're just like, oh my God, I can hardly breathe. I'm choked. I'm restricted. Now, there are other places along the way. And what I've discovered by talking to so many of you lovely ladies is finding out that when you're winning with weight, you don't let certain things affect you anymore because you've understood when you were at boarding school, you were in a stressful mode and you're still operating in that stressful mode because it's come a habit for you with your work colleagues as well there's there's underlying stress there's relationship stress so i help you to get over that those stressful points to find out what your main triggers are and take things from a different perspective you don't even know that you need a different perspective because basically it's your perspective you don't know until you get out of town or you hear something different you think Oh, I never thought about it from that point of view. I need to change my perspective. One of the main things, one of the three main causes that causes stress, uh, fat on the body to stay and be gained and put fat on the body because of your fight and flight mode is stress. Like I said, it can be coming from many different angles. The second one, find out if this one works for you or not, whether this is actually... Um, getting your body into a certain state as well is scarcity. Scarcity means that you're coming from lack. Scarcity means that you feel that there's not enough. Scarcity means that um, you don't spend out all your money, that you, um, you're a little bit worried about where things are coming from. It has an energy of holding on. When there's scarcity, you hold on to it. When there's a scarcity of love, you hold on to the lousy relationship that you've got. When there's a scarcity of money, you hold on to the pennies and you really, really bring in and draw in everything. So you're holding everything in. What I get you to be in a state of abundance, to understand what's coming in the future, everything's going to work out really, really well for you. It's the opposite of scarcity. 
and you're able to just relax and your body's able to relax and you just stop holding on. Constipation often comes from this particular feeling and this particular mode of operating and sometimes you don't even know that you're in it because you're so used to it. That's what I'm here for and that's what I help you to understand that stress and scarcity, number one and number two, are what are influencing your body. So let's just let that go and see whether you resonate with scarcity or whether you resonate with stress. The third one is being stationary. And I call this the waiting, waiting game. Waiting as in you're waiting and waiting as in waiting. Feeling heavy and holding on and everything's just waiting and waiting and waiting. What happened for me to understand um, this particular scenario for me was um, I'd already got the house, I'd already got the kids, I'd already got everything that I wanted to manifest. And then I became complacent and then I became kind of like, well, I've got everything. It's everything I've ever wanted. The human nature wants you to always evolve, always thrive and always be moving forwards. So in other words, I'd got everything that I wanted and I wasn't being proactive in what comes next? What do I want next? What would be nice next? And I'd become stationary. And as I became stationary, I became fearful. I became worried about the lack of money. I became stressed. And um, I just wasn't moving forward. It's human nature that you want to move forward. So becoming stationary, stagnant, um, standing still, on pause, use any of those terms you like, but that was what was happening to me and that's what was happening in my body and I was just flatlining. I was bored, I was fucked off, wasn't in the relationship or where I wanted to be, what I'd fantasised about. That, that was that waiting scenario so that you can actually see how that plays out and how that affects on your body as well because I wasn't doing the things that really sparked me up. One of my main key values, which is I help people find out what their key values are when they're in this particular mode, what their missing nutrients are. And if you put your missing nutrients in, you're full already. For one of my missing nutrients was adventure. When I started fulfilling my adventure, I was like, oh, I, and it had a feeling that was so full and vibrant. I felt alive. And I truly believe that we're only on this planet in these bodies so that we can actually have the full immersed feeling and understanding of what it feels like to be alive, alive in these bodies, alive in the, on this planet and having just the most pleasure and fun we can possibly have. So when you become stationary, you're in survival mode. The best thing you can do then is just take some time out and start fantasizing and dreaming and getting into the feeling of actually, what is it that I want next? What do I want to manifest next? rather than being stationary, being proactive. So what's your main stressor? Is it stress? Is it scarcity? Or is it being stagnant and stationary? Because those things are having a huge influence on your body. And each one has a particular solution that I provide to help you move through those particular states. I'm gonna be talking about those. Every single week I'm gonna be talking about one and giving you the solutions to how you can Help yourself out of stress, being um, stagnant and having coming from scarcity. And I'm going to be in one particular new group this week as well called um, Evolve and Thrive on Monday. And from the week after, I'm going to be Dare to, Dare, to, Dare to Change, basically talking about these particular elements as well. Because they are so pronounced and they're so important about finding out who you want to be. You want to feel great and free in your body. And what's weighing you down are these particular thoughts, these particular fears and these particular states that you've got, you in, got yourself into. And what we want to be able to do is change those states, get you into this orgasmic state, pleasure, really enjoying life, which is going to help you release and not have to store and not be craving the food as party food or trying to fulfill or fill the gap with something that's actually missing for you. I am Fiona Robertson. I'm here in Women Winning with Weight and my whole purpose is to help you to lose weight and understand what the root cause is for you. Where is it coming from and how can we shift that for you? <laughs> I'm here every week doing a little ditty, telling you the techniques and telling you that I'm here and you're not alone and it's not your fault. 
you've got to understand that, that it's not your fault. And there is hope, there's tremendous hope that you can fill yourself up with everything that you really, truly desire and not have to be stuck in these particular states anymore. You can break those cycles. Loving you and leaving you, speaking to you soon. Join in with me next week and you can get some more of these tips and answers and find out what's really going, for you, going on for you with your body.